Hey, this is Trey Lee, and I'm once again doing another uh, quick video. Um, please, I'm going to be uploading these videos onto YouTube. So I just ask that you subscribe to my page, share it in hopes of someone else subscribing to the page so that it can continue to grow and do what I would like for it to do. Today, I'm going to be briefly talking about pursuing happiness even in the midst of challenging times in our lives. Each time I share a video, it isn't something that I'm telling you um, according to what I've seen others go through, which a little of it may very well be the case. But a lot of what I share has already happened in my life or is currently happening in my life. But for me, I would much rather choose to pursue happiness and share it with someone else so that maybe someone else could also find what I am currently seeking. And that's happiness every single day, regardless of what's going on in my life. So quickly, um, a lot of folks may ask, well, how do you do it when uh, you have so much turmoil going on in your life? Um, it could be your children, the loss of a loved one, um, marital problems, relationship problems. Regardless of whatever the situation is, I truly do believe that we could find happiness <clears throat> in any given situation, but we have to pursue it and we have to go after it aggressively. And I say that and a lot of folks are well like, how do you do it? Well, I tell you for me, it's my spiritual walk with God. That's the only thing that gets me through difficult times and different uh, difficult situations because he's told us to cast all of our cares on him. Um, and this is God that I'm talking about casting all of our cares on that, on him because he cares about us. I know a lot of times when we're going through things in our lives, we wonder, where is God? Is he even around? Well, listen, as long as we have life in this body, challenges will happen. Life will happen. But we could only determine where we're going to end up later with whatever it is that we're going through. Only Tracy could determine how far and how long I would allow a situation to keep me bound or down. There are some times that I get extremely emotional. There are some times that I get upset, but I got to remember who created me. I have to remember that he has told me to cast all of my cares on him because he cares about me. Now, one may ask, well, what do we do in a situation where there is a person that may not believe in Christ? Christians have a tendency of always using the word Christ. And which is a beautiful thing. God, we use our spiritual walk to help us get through things. But unfortunately, there are a lot of people that don't have the same belief that we do. There are a lot of people that may not even know of God and all of the wonderful benefits that we have when we serve him. A lot of people don't even have that. So instead of forcing it and pushing it on people, give them love. Show them the love of God. Show them the tender mercies of God and usher them into wondering who is this Christ that have Tracy smiling and laughing when she's going through pure hell in her life. Because again, he says that we're supposed to be the, the salt of the earth. People should want to thirst after Christ because of the lifestyle that we are living. So I say nurture them into it by showing love tenderness, kindness when they're going through a situation and maybe they may say, well, hey, how do you get through it? That's your perfect opportunity to share Christ with them. And in the meantime, I don't knock anyone that seeks the help of medication when they're dealing with a difficult time in their life. I'm not saying that they have to stay on it forever, but there are a lot of Christians that don't believe that you should seek uh, professional help uh, with a psychologist for someone to speak with, um, a counselor for someone to speak with. A lot of Christians just don't believe in that, but they believe in taking medication for high blood pressure. 
They believe in wearing glasses to help them see better. So why then, if we're going to use this stuff for our physical bodies, why can't we use the same for our emotional stability? It's the same, no difference. You're medicating for your physical health, and then you're medicating for your mental stability. Neither one you have to stay on forever, but I'm just saying, help people by not forcing things on them. Help them by not forcing it. I believe that if half of the people knew what I am currently dealing with in my life, it'd be like, oh, wow, how is she so happy? How is she so bubbly? Once again, it's my love walk with God and I am committed to staying happy even in the midst of whatever it is I'm going through. I am determined. No one else will dictate the course of Tracy's life and her happiness. And I'm just sharing this information with you all because I would love for you all to just try it. I don't believe in taking every day at a time. I believe in taking every second at a time. And in fact, that's a little quote in the book that I've written. Take each second as it comes. Because God knows when there are things that's going on in your life, my goodness, next week looks so far away. Tomorrow looks so far away. But if you could just live for every second and just trust God to get you through any situation. And again, if you do not believe in the love of God and what he could do for you, then I suggest you get yourself around some really strong people that is going to help you get through the situation that you're dealing with. I suggest that you seek out counsel because let me tell you, this mind and your heart the things that you allow to just trouble your mind and trouble your heart, it weakens your heart. There are so many young people out here that are leaving here from heart attacks and strokes because of the cares of life. It could have been me. I was stressed out so bad at one point to where I could feel my head pounding. And I was like, no, 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 no. It's not going to go down like that. It's not going to go down like that because I am strong. I am much bigger and stronger than my current situation. So until next time, I just ask and encourage you all to take care of yourselves. Pursue happiness as if you're out there looking for a job when you know the bills needs to be paid next month and you don't have a job or you just lost your job. And uh, you, you've heard of this saying before, looking for a job is like having a job because you're out there pursuing it. I challenge you to pursue happiness as if you're out there busting it, looking for a job. What you're looking for is your peace, your joy, your happiness. And I'm telling you right now, as sure as that person may get that, yes, you're hired. You will get that, yes, I'm finally happy I've overcame it. The title of my book is called Overcoming Destructive Relationships. And it's just like any other challenge. When you're challenged with your health physically, you believe that you're getting through it. You may have gotten through cancer. You may have gotten over that hurdle and years come again. Here it is creeping its way back into your life again. And you have to fight that thing all over again. Well, that's what Tracy is doing. Tracy is fighting with every fiber in her being. Everything that the enemy is trying to attack me with, he has already lost because I am a world overcomer and I've overcame every situation that the devil has ever tried to throw in my direction. So until the next time, Take care of yourselves, love on yourselves, and please don't forget to share these videos. Love you. Take care. Until next time.